welcome to the FC Halifax Town YouTube channel. I'm joined by former Halifax skipper Nathan Clark and current left back Jack Senior. Ahead of our game with Chesterfield on Tuesday night, I feel like I thought it was quite nice to sort of invite a you know two local lads on. So what we'll do really, Nathan and, and Jack, if we can just start off with sort of previewing previewing that game on on Tuesday night as local lads. Nathan, if you'd like to start off. Yeah, obviously, um, you know, just speaking off air, I guess, you know, the excitement and everything and the buzz um, around the game, the excitement of the season thus far, I think it's, uh, yeah, certainly got, you know, a captivated audience and, you know, something like, you know, the the crowd expectation and things like that, I think, you know, is, is right up there. So, yeah, it all adds to, to what's going to be an exciting game. Yeah, brilliant stuff, Jack. Um, yeah, I'll just touch on what Nathan said about the excitement of, you know, what could possibly be, you know, and it's keeping the fans, you know, everyone around the town, like keeping that dream alive and, you know, what could possibly happen, you know, come Tuesday night and what what could potentially happen from there, really. Yeah, and of course, you know, if we were to get through on Tuesday night, we'd play a semi-final and, you know, let's hope we get through that and, in, and into the final and maybe into League Two. I know that's sort of looking quite far ahead, but... Say that was to happen, as two boys that have grown up in Halifax and Calderdale, um, when you guys were growing up, what was Halifax Town like as a club? If we could just sort of maybe reflect back. Yeah, there. personally, on a personal level, when I was growing up, they were, they were still standing um, all, all around the back of the goals uh, and things like that. I used to go with my friends from school, my parents. Um, so it was a, a real good club to, to be in the thick of it, I guess, and to be right up front and be close to the pitch and... Um, certainly why, you know, the, I guess the love for football, you know, certainly started from that, from going to watch the games and, yeah, and then eventually sort of playing there, it's, you know, you can see what, you know, the stadium obviously is improving constantly, uh, you know, the infrastructure around that. So, yeah, it's certainly geared up to, you know, you know hopefully have a massive push, I guess. Yeah, perfect. Um, yeah, when, when I was growing up, the stadium was just getting built when I was, nine years old playing in a final there yeah. the main stand was just getting built and and then from watching Halifax in the when Lee Gregory Jamie Vardy was playing it was obviously lower down the leagues but yeah in terms of like the quality of the stadium and it's it's you know capable of you know coming with us you know if we wherever we go yeah and for you guys sort of growing up and being around Halifax and, and the club in the town what was it like to end up playing for them yeah, amazing. I was just going to sort of add on to that regarding the stadium. I was first scouted there for Huddersfield and that's we were playing a cup final, believe it or not, as a, as a nine-year-old um, on that pitch. Can you imagine? Um, yeah. <laughs> Loads of space. Felt like we had to kick it as far as we could to even actually reach a player. Um, but yeah, it does hold, you know, certainly great value to me. And, you know, it was where, like I said, managed to get scouted for Huddersfield and went on from there and like I said to come back and play for, for Halifax and you know still bump into the, the same people that I used to sort of knock around with in, in Halifax and things it's yeah it's a special place yeah for yourself obviously going from Huddersfield then to Luton and then finding yourself back at Halifax yeah I just think it was uh it was exciting really as in you know because I've I've been in and around watching Halifax as I was as I was younger and stuff and you know, when the opportunity came, I thought, perfect for me, you know, knowing what Halifax is about as a club, as a town and stuff, it's, you know, it was perfect for me and it's exciting at the minute and it has been all the time I've been here. Yeah, brilliant. And Nathan, I just wanted to sort of go back to two seasons ago um, when obviously we reached the playoff eliminator and we unfortunately lost to Boreham Wood. What sort of memory do you have from that match? Uh, well, yeah, obviously disappointment initially. Um yeah, we were, again, very similar, really, in the sense that we were quite a well-knit group. We didn't have too many injuries. We managed, I think, I played a you know a whole lot of games. Likewise, did the majority of the team. So we were fairly confident. And, again, just probably more disappointment, really, we felt at the time. You know, they're so hard. I'm just speaking to somebody today. You know, it's it's an eliminator. You've got a one, one-off game. You know, you've got to make sure everybody's on their toes and ready and and up for it and it's you know you get one or two that aren't quite at the races you, you know you're out and before you know it the game's over and you've uh, you've lost what you know what is a positive season uh, just down to one game so yeah just more disappointment really um, you know we felt as a 
as a group of players at the time, we were we were certainly strong enough to to compete. Yeah, and just, sorry, just first before we move on, if you can't hear any background noise, it's just because the lads are doing gym work, literally just over there. So, oh, bigging the lads up, giving the, the lads a shout out. At least they're doing, at least they're doing something. That's it's good. They've not shut off and uh, got in the cars and gone. So no, the gym work's good, I guess. And um, obviously, the season after, you know, it's when you two lads played together. So what was that like for you, Nathan, Jack? What was that like um, playing in the in the same defence as, as each other, really? I think I'll uh, I'll go first. So just in terms of you know the experience that Nathan had, you know, to be able to actually speak to him a lot and get as much knowledge from him as I can with the career he's had, I think was massive for me in terms of more than more or less being on the pitch and knowing he because he's been there and done it, you know, at most levels and stuff for how he wants it on the pitch and how he helps me on the pitch. I thought was massive. Yeah, really. yeah brilliant, Nathan. Well, thanks, thanks for that, mate. And you know, the sort of more experience you sort of give you, so, you know, in playing in those situations, you know, you, you are desperately trying to obviously play as well as you can yourself, but to help the, the younger lads through. But what I will say is, Jack's a grafter. He's, you know, as soon as he came in, you could tell that his attitude towards work and his work ethic um, is why he's, he's doing as well as he is and probably attracting the interest that he's attracting. Um, no, so it's, you know, Put thoroughly down to him. He's a, like I say, he's a hard worker, um, and it does it. You know, it certainly pays off um, on the pitch. And you know, he's had the the pleasure of you know probably playing the most games you've played in your career, I guess, um, so far. And yeah, it's it's a great starting block to to what he wants to achieve, I guess. Yeah, I felt like it was a really sort of agency sort of answer from you, Nathan. Which sort of oh, thanks, mate. Well, I've, yeah, I've had to I've yeah. had to dust up my. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, my chats and things. But yeah. no, Jack knows, you know, like I say, he's, yeah. he's focused, he knows what he wants, um, you know, and that's full credit to him. It's it's hard work. You know, there's so many players out there, as Jack knows, and to have, have an opportunity to play week in, week out is uh, is huge. Yeah, I'm just, um, just on your sort of agent work, Nathan. How's that going? I'm sure other fans would love to, love to know. Yeah, going really well. It's, it's a different side to... Um, to obviously the football and playing and management coaching and things, but I just felt that I have a lot to offer in this role. There's, there's the chance to, you know, not just speak to a group of players, but to speak to as many players as I can regarding whatever team they're at. Um, so, yeah, to be able to hopefully pass on as much experience and not just the ups, you know, be there for the downs. And I think that's the, the most important thing that hopefully that I can offer to, to players, you know, starting on the journey or coming towards the end, um, you know, to be there as a, as a support really for, for them to go and achieve what they want to achieve. Yeah, lovely stuff. And I think one really good thing in your role is you get to go out to many games and, and go watch different matches. You've come to the shape yeah. um, a few times this season. What have you made of, of the squad and, and what you've seen, really? I've been really impressed and obviously still keeping in touch with as, as many people as I can there uh, at the club. Um, you know, and Lou's been fantastic and sorting me out some tickets and things like that. So, yeah, as, when I can get back, I get back and, you know, the excitement and the buzz and, Probably the best I've seen the fans uh, this 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 time. Um, you know they were always great to me when I was there, but I feel I don't know. It's it's a different buzz, I guess. I think the, the togetherness of the group and what you know the management staff have done there. Um, there's a real feeling of sort of a close knit um, sort of group, really, which is is what you want as fans and as players. Um, you want them behind you, and I'm sure they will be uh, against Chesterfield. Yeah, lovely stuff. And Jack, for you, how have you sort of felt your season go really and you know your thoughts on, on it? Um, well, like Nathan touched on then, it's probably the most I've played in a singular season and over the last two seasons is the most I've played in my whole career. And um I think I think this year it's been more positive than negative and and I just think I'm I'm just happy with being able to have the chance to play week in, week out when yeah. when I've been able to and stuff. And you know, we go back to you know the fans and stuff like the they've they've been a massive help in terms of you know they had a year away from us, you know, having to watch it, you know, behind a computer screen and stuff. And they were all excited for us to come for them to come back next this season. And uh when you know you put the two and two together, them coming back to watch and us yeah. putting on some good football, it's kind of brought that 
unity together between us. Yeah, it sounds really good. And then just yeah, like- I, th- I think sorry, that's that's a massive point. What Jack said, you know, the COVID thing, you know, it had a massive massive effect, and I think the fans realised that you know the weekends and the the midweek games and things and missing out on that. It just shows, doesn't it? Now they're back, and you know the the fully up for it, and probably missed out on on so much football that you know they're desperate to to back the lads, and you know what better ways to to push them as as much as they can into the to the playoffs. Yeah, sounds really good. And I think the fan base is you know growing every week, and just mm. sort of lastly, you know, with you both being being from Calderdale, both being from Halifax, in sort of five years time, where would you like to see the club? But not just the club, but the town as well as a whole. If- uh, well, obviously the, the club, you know, it needs to be, uh, which it has been since I've been there, is it needs to be run properly. Um, you know, and they've got a great guy behind the scenes, but also great management team and um, doing the things on on the training pitch and doing the things on the on the match day to to put the club where they need to be. And it's it's goes hand in hand, I guess. I think the better the club are doing, um, you know, the town itself um, becomes alive again, doesn't it? And, and everything else. But, you know, what a, it's got its own little quirks and, and things. It's Halifax, but, you know, it's a great place to be. Um, and like I say, I think it, that's the one. I think it goes hand in hand. I think the better the, the club's doing, you know, it certainly lifts the, the town. So, you know, in five years' time, who knows where the club could be, you know, five years ago. I think the the town was probably not in a, as good a position as it is now. You know, yeah. we want to five years time. You want the town and the club to be in a position that's attracting a lot of people. I know you've got the competition of you know football teams in and around Yorkshire in the higher divisions, which, but you know, I think the you know the the attraction of non-league football is you know is is dropping its way down. You know, to people who you know might have gone to you know to Leeds and Huddersfield games in the in the past and stuff, but I think, you know, non-league football is, you know, up and coming in terms of, you know, the quality of the, the teams and the players and, you know, just the the advertising yeah. that the league's getting and stuff. So I think going going on to the question in five years' time, I don't see why they can't, why we can't be a lot higher than yeah. what we are now. Yeah, sounds really good. And, and just sort of, I, I think that's everything I kind of wanted to cover. I don't know if you want to set my hot seat and ask Nathan a question to finish with. Uh, Get your journalism just, practicing early doors. <laughs> <laughs> I've uh, to, look, no, to be fair, that's actually seriously. I've never like I, I haven't. I've been in a, a playoff game with Harrogate, like, yeah. but I didn't. It wasn't as I didn't feel as serious as this in terms of because I was yeah. in there. I didn't. I wasn't properly in the team, and it feels a little bit different this time round. So I was just like, you know, in terms of preparation and mentality going into. You know, obviously, you've played in a lot bigger games, and yeah, yeah, and like, like I say, it's having that mindset of it, you know, not passing you by. Basically, I think you know you've got to be certainly in these playoff games. You, it's 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 a one off, isn't it? It's a one off game, so to make sure you apply yourself the week leading up to it, the the day before, like like I know you will do, um, but yeah, just probably that's the main thing, not letting it pass you by, um, yeah. because in a blink of an eye. You know, if you've not done your job or you've switched off for a moment, you know, you, you're on the back foot. And yeah, the, they're exciting times. They're, they're good to be involved in, um, but ultimately only good if you, if you come out on top. Um, you know, I've had plenty of times of disappointment and, and heartache and things like that and penalty shootouts going the wrong way and things like that. So, yeah, just to, to give it your all, which I know you will do, I know the team will do. I think the management staff will have you ready and prepared. It's just, yeah, it's just on the day, making sure that you can apply everything that you you know you're good at uh, to the team and, you know, push as much as you can right to the end. And like I say, the cherry on the, the cake is, you know, a chance to be able to to go and play, you know, to, for a chance to be in the league. It's something that the club's been desperate for um, for a while now and been close on a couple of occasions and, you know, I'm sure the fans will say the same. I think this is probably the, the closest that the fans feel, um, you know, the squad depth and things like that is, is certainly capable. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's probably the main thing I took from that is being like in the moment, you know, enjoying it while it's there. And yeah, definitely. And you've, you've got to enjoy it. You've got to 
make the most of it. You've got to enjoy the build up. You've got to enjoy these bits, you know, having interviews and the excitement around it. You know, all the, the, the eyes will be on you, I guess. Um, but you've got to embrace that. You've got to look forward to, you know, it's going to be a tough game, isn't it? You know, there are no mugs. Um, and they'll be they'll be desperate to do as well as they can, I guess, themselves, won't they? So, yeah, you just be in the moment, be ready and uh, give it your all. Perfect. Thank you. Spot on. I don't know if Nathan, I don't know if you've got anything else. Martin or Jack, if you've got anything else, feel free to pitch in. Yeah, no, just a massive good luck from me. You know, I've, like I said there, I've been to a couple of games um, throughout the season, not as many as probably I'd have liked, but, you know, to see, you know, the lads absolutely kicking on um, is it's been amazing for from the outside looking in and like I say I speak to quite a few of the people still really close with Summers I know he's had his injury problems unfortunately but you know he's you know what a character to have in and around it and help push through and his experience hopefully and Woods' experience can um, can help guide the, the lads through mm. Quickly just thought of one you know obviously yeah. you've getting, been down to the games and stuff um, is there anything, not so much defensively, but more like personally, that you want to see? You know, like from me, like anything from like, you, mate. You're an you're an exciting player. You're explosive. You're forward thinking. You, you're desperate to drive forward with the ball. Yeah, you know, defensively, you know what you need to do. You know you need to be strong. You know you're going to be put under pressure. Um, but you're more than capable of doing that. You know, the excitement that comes with you, Jack, is that you're a forward thinking fullback. You know, you're desperate to go forward. And when you're forward and when you're in them moments to to make the most of it. Um, so I know it's hard, it's easy saying it from the sidelines, but you know, that final pass, that final bit of detail, um, you know, when you are in them positions is is certainly key for you. And like I say, you know, mate, you don't need me to tell you, but you know, you, you're attracting so much interest. There's a lot of talk about you. So you're obviously doing something right. Um, so just keep going, mate. And you, anything can happen, I guess, can't it, in football? 